Hey, what's going on guys? Phil here with Phil in the Box, and today we're going to be doing something that I've been waiting to do for a very long time. We're going to unbox a System76 Darter Pro laptop. This is insane, guys. This laptop is completely open source from end to end, including the hardware down to the processor, which is an Intel processor, by the way, which is kind of weird, but it is open source and it's using pop os and it just arrived in the mail today so please stick around we're gonna have a great time unboxing it but before we do make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell if you want to hear any new stuff that i come up with if you're into that kind of stuff stick around <laughs> So here's the System76 laptop that I ordered, and uh, let's take a look at the box. A little beat up, not too bad. Um, just a regular box, nothing like shiny or special about it. It's definitely not, not Apple. Uh, all right, I think we will. Okay. Yeah, nothing, nothing really stands out from the box itself, so let's just go straight to it. Let me Alright, let's see what we got here. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, like a graph paper style, like a little the rocket ship. It's pretty cool. All right. Wait, don't cut. Package is reusable. Unfold and slide out. Okay, so let me take this stuff out here first. Looks like we got the power supply here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've had to return laptops before. This is how you. This is how they uh, send you like an empty box with this plastic and you just you just reseal it like that. That's pretty cool. Huh. Is that a bad sign that they're like sending you a box that is ready to send back again? <laughs> um, okay. flag sticker is going to fit. It looks pretty big stickers. Probably have to go here, but then, ah, that sucks. It's really light compared to, to, to what I've, uh, what I'm used to. And it's actually, uh, wider. Um, there's the bottom of it. Super cool. Hmm. It reminds me of that Taco Bell uh, font from uh, from Demolition Man. Hmm. So it's really light. It's so wait. It, it's like super light compared to my to my 50 pound P72, which is what this is this is replacing. Um, it's, I'm a little worried because the screen is actually not as as tall since we code vertically. Um, but I do like that they're split. I mean that it's wide so I can split it fairly easily. Uh, let's take a look at the I.O. Uh, nothing up front per the huge. Nothing in the back. 
Oh, there is some uh, symmetry imbalance there. This is uh, orange, and this is a. Uh... Well, it's just see through. Looks like this is a, a false vent right here. Which, I know, probably doesn't matter, but some of you are leaving Apple, or, and uh, you're, you're into that kind of stuff. Alright, cool, so this one, like the previous models, has a power button on the outside, so that means that if we do a clamshell mode, uh, then we then you can just turn it on from the outside, which is super cool. Uh, looks like we've got Ethernet port, uh, USB 3, I'm assuming, USB V, uh, and then we've got the micro SD card. Headphone and microphone, yeah, headphone and microphone jack. On the other side, so we've got HDMI, uh, USB. Oh, this one's a USB 3. I guess the other one. We'll find out later. And then two Thunder, nope, one Thunderbolt, one USB C. So that's the I/O there. It's really slick though. It's a really nice design. It's it's super light. That's the primary reason why I got it. Well, there you have it, guys. There's the uh, unboxing of the System 76 Darter Pro laptop. It's uh, it's certainly very light, which is definitely a, a breath of fresh air compared to the Lenovo P72 that I've been carrying around. Uh, one would say that it's a it's a weight lifted from my shoulders, literally, when I wear a backpack. <laughs> anyway, um, but now we're going to go into the Pop! OS. We're going to see what all the buzz is about. Uh, Pop! OS is essentially, uh, according to uh, some of my colleagues, 90% uh, Ubuntu and 10% whatever this is. Uh, but speaking of buzz, uh, if you hear a buzz... Chances are that you, 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 you have flies in the house, and so that brings us to today's sponsor, uh, uh, Ken Kenzizer. Now this is Kenzizer creates a variety of fly swatters. Uh, this one right here is the original fly swatter. You can see the beautiful color of baby blue. Uh, these these it, it's very light, so it helps if you have if you have flies. Um, very cheap, uh, $10.99, very easy to make, children make these, and it's made in China, so if you guys, uh, if you guys, uh, you know, want to support, support my channel, make sure to get yourself a fly swatter and swat those pesky flies, if you got kids, this works great for kids too, you just, just, you just don't let the cops see you, anyway, alright, thank you. And that's that. Let's go into Pop! OS. Okay, so I just started the machine here. I don't know if you could see it. There we go. And uh, it's just asking me for the language. So we got Pop! OS. So let's hit enter for English. United States. Uh, let's see here. Install Pop OS. Yeah, that's fine, US. Uh, let's see, keyboard layout default. I'm okay with the defaults. Full name. Alright. Bill. Three L's. Yikes. Typing on the keyboard, I don't know, I don't know yet. It feels uh feels very flat. That uh that novel. That Lenovo keyboard definitely spoiled me. All right, so encrypting this drive protects data, blah, blah, blah. Drive encryption may uh, slightly affect read and write speed when performing intense tasks. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and encrypt it. Encrypt. I'm really liking the aesthetics here. It's really cool. It's definitely different from uh, from Ubuntu. Oh, cool! Look, the the spaceship is uh, is moving around, or the the engine. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. So it's saying uh, continue setup. Let's go ahead and restart the device. I'm going into the matrix now. Oh, failed unmounting CD-ROM. Maybe because there is no CD-ROM. I don't know. System 76. Please unlock. All right, so as I started typing the password, it went to terminal mode, which was interesting. All right, so there I am. All right. No dock. Dock extends the edges. Dock doesn't extend the edges. That's how I had it in Ubuntu. Configure top bar support. Show workspaces button. Sure. Uh, show application button. Sure. Uh, I don't mind that being in the middle. I like that. All right. On the next. Uh, open and switch applications from the launch bar. The super key configuration can be changed at any time. Where's my super key? Is it this one? Oh, must be this one. Oh, look at that. Okay. Use gestures for easier navigation. Use four fingers to swipe left or right on the workspaces. Oh, wow. Pretty cool. Okay, so should we keep it light mode? Or dark mode to quote Joseph from Batman we're gonna stay with dark mode we'll go with not that one all applications determine your geographical location an indication is shown when location service were used. Use location services. Well, can't is there a way to like give applications permission as they ask for it? Is this like the global thing? I'm gonna let's see what happens if I do it. Los Angeles. Uh, maybe uh, Seattle. Yeah. Ah. Ah, that's fine too. Uh, connect your online accounts. Cool. I think I'll skip this part. All done. So it says ready to use Pop OS. Cool. Well, that's pretty much it. I think I'm new to Pop OS, so whatever, whatever Google stuff you find on Pop OS, that's it. So there's the unboxing, man. Uh, I hope you guys like it.
I still don't get why it's offensive. We didn't start it. It's not like we wanted it to be in it. And we did win. But there's two of them, and we won both of them, so that technically would make us the champions.